That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It was Neil Armstrong and the first landing on the moon over four decades ago that stoked a young Malian boy's interest in astronomy. You know, a typical African person listening to you, watching you on television, would ask themselves, then how did you get there? How did you get from farming with your father in Mali to NASA? When I think about it, I think it is my mother that is at the root of this. You know, little action. The mother who raised me didn't go to school. But I think she is much smarter than me. Because ever since I'm little, whenever I remember, whenever I climb on something and I'm about to fall, and other adults say, hey, get down, you're going to fall. She tells them, don't frighten him. Let him, you know, learn what it means to fall. If he falls, I will be here. I will help him. Just let him be. Let him experiment different things. And then, later on, when I start school, I would come from school, because I used to be good at school, you know, uh, well-disciplined, you know, it is the discipline my father put in me, where when I start something, uh, I will not just be happy with getting it done. It has to be done the best I can at any time. And he used to think, he know my best. I will do something, a chore, I bring it to a close, he will tell me, no, 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 go back and do it again. I know you can do better than that. So, and he is very patient, not violent, very kind man. He will, but he will get you to do it four or five times if necessary until he knows that you reach your utmost best. So because of that, early in age, you, you, you learn something very, very valuable. It is that whatever you have to do something, it's better from the goal to do the best you can. And, uh, you know, combine that with the fact that my mother, after that, whenever I come from school, with, therefore, this good grade, all happy, and I give her the paper, instead of being happy with my grade, she said, well, that's fine, I know you can do that. But how many people in your classroom couldn't do it that you helped? That's what I want to know. How many other kids in the class couldn't do the problem? And how did you help them? You know, and it start kind of making its way that I cannot just celebrate what I can do. I have to celebrate with other people. So because of that, you know, I have started actually uh, developing this kind of... Um, uh, you end up developing these personalities that, you know, end up building around you a network of people, all of them, of goodwill. You know, whatever you can do is good, but if you can get somebody else to benefit from that good by helping them, showing them the way to do it, that is when you celebrate. You know, when you have this kind of mental attitude, usually... Doors never close. You don't even see doors. See, I don't, uh, psychologically, I don't, I'm not handicapped with that kind of even consideration. The same way my mother used to tell people, don't frighten him. I am not frightened, I'm not overwhelmed by looking at any challenge a priori. I will just walk, if it is there, I will attack it, and I will give it the best shot I can, and chances are it will work. You know, with discipline and uh, this kind of good. And I think it is that uh, attitude that slowly and the fact to want to try different things and not being afraid of uh, dropping what you know to go and discover something new that might work in my own. Not being afraid. When you combine these two, I think that that is what ultimately took me from Segu in my country all the way to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. From the fascinating world of planet navigation to the cutthroat business of technology. These days, Sheikh Jara is trying to help Microsoft maintain its relevance in a fast-changing and competitive industry. Apple recently became the world's number one technology company in terms of market capitalization. As chairman of Microsoft yes. uh, for Africa, how do you feel about that? Well, I think that Microsoft is the number one company in the world, as far as I am concerned. Every single time I turn around, I look how we have changed people's lives 
all over the world. We have transformed the way people communicate, transformed the way they work and do business. But that is not the part I'm the most impressed about when it comes to Microsoft. What I'm impressed about when it comes to Microsoft is actually why I took this role as chairman of Microsoft is the way that company, in addition of being great at what it does, its core business, writing software, is also the way they assume their social responsibilities. In fact, let me just tell you what uh, the co-founder of PayPal, Peter Thiel, had to say when, when this announcement was made. He said, Microsoft depends more on maintaining the status quo, while Apple is in a constant battle to one-up itself and create something new. Oh, come on. Well, just give us a little time. We have on the way uh, our telephone, uh, the, 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 the window mobile phone 7 is coming. And you will see if that is not innovation, I don't know what it is. Secondly, something that we have been doing for the last 20 years. Now, all the companies are converging on that. That is the notion of cloud computing. This is something we've been doing forever. You know, if that is not innovation, you know, the thing is this. If you innovate sometime in uh, hardware that people can see and touch, like Apple does, it, it, it is much more impressive. It impresses people. We innovate in codes, writing codes, that will enable those hardware to do new things different. Jara is banking on the local industry to help him grow revenue on the continent. Imagine if there is a local software company who decides that they're going to write an application that enable, uh, once you put the cursor on a word, the computer will read it back to you. Mm. Now that means that that application can be sold to millions of our countrymen who don't know how to read or write. They still can go on the net just translate whatever pages they have into Zulu or the local languages and have the computer read it for them. So has that market will develop for that person? Those people will have their application working on my platform window. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Big plans for a man who has never shied away from a challenge. Mm.